Well, this is the last video of Cheryl Murphy, medium extraordinaire. I've been doing a series of videos on this medium who just popped up when I was attending a sep late September 2023 mediumship gallery reading for Thomas John. Cheryl Murphy popped up. Never heard of her before, and I am super glad to be done with her videos. So I have a playlist with Cheryl Murphy on the playlist. So you can watch all the videos that I've done. I think there's been four or five. And this should be the last one. So I'm going to show you a reading. I don't believe it's very long because it was her last one. It is, oh my goodness. Let's look and see how long this is. I have not watched this. Well, I mean, I watched it, but it was... Um, during the gallery reading that I and my team attended, um, I did. Get... Sure, I'll get to a minute. Eight minutes, three seconds. It. I attended this. I got a copy of the the video, which went to everybody who attended, all 114 people or so of us. And I have blurred, and remove the last names of the people who are getting readings that is what i did they released it just with everybody's names and and faces out there for for people to look at and so what um, i'm going to do is evaluate this last one and then we're going to stop and we're going to just talk really briefly about what um who this person is because I've done a little research. Um, let's just sum it up really quick. What is going on with this woman? It's I find it important. I think it's a great idea to do these uh, videos, seeing gallery readings. You watch them do lots of videos. And this is, how do I say, behind the scenes. This isn't one of their videos that they do that's going to appear on their website or appear on YouTube, on their YouTube channel that they have edited or they have curated for the best parts of the, their best videos. This is a video, um, these are videos, and this is showing it more in the, the true sense of mediumship, what is actually happening behind the scenes. You know, you read their testimonials, you look at their endorsements, and they say amazing things about themselves. This is really where we get down to it. What kind of medium are they? What are they? What is it they're claiming? What are they doing? How, what is what is their methodology? Are they saying the same kind of things over and over to people? Anyway, this is day two. I think I've been working on Cheryl Murphy, but I've been working on this two hour gallery reading for days now. I have an hour's worth of Thomas John videos and there's a bunch of them. And then now we're on the last video of the last hour of this two hour gallery reading. I am a bit punchy. So, uh, and not feeling very sympathetic because some of these, all of these videos, uh, oh my gosh, we'll talk about it in a minute. Let's see if we can get through this eight minutes. All right. So buckle up, Buttercup. I've got my notepad here. Because like I said, I don't remember this reading. Maybe it'll make some sense to me when I get to it. But I don't remember it at the moment. I just blurred people's faces and names out of it. And that's as far as I got as far as listening to what's going to happen. <sighs> I'm channeling my energy. I'm trying to... <laughs> You guys. Um, I did feel, I want to move on now because I do feel someone's brother. I have to connect with, there's someone's brother in spirit, but yet that person wants to help me ask a psychic question. Is there like a Debbie or a Deb on the call or a D initial? And then does this person have a, a question? And I, I don't know everyone's name on the call, but then do you have a brother? I don't even know if there's a D on the initial. I don't know. There's a Darcy, a Destiny, a Danielle. Do any of you have a brother on the other side? And then your brother. What about a last name? There's a Darcy. Hi, Darcy. 
Uh, it could be, but let me go to Darcy first, uh, just because I got this. So hi, Darcy, and do you have a question for me, please? A psychic question? But thank you for, for your help. I may come to you next. Thank you. Um, <clears throat> just maybe, um, does sp spirit have a message for me or someone from the other side, just, um, future, like career, yeah. what's happening? Good yeah. stuff. <laughs> yeah. We always want, yeah, totally, totally of good course. stuff. Well, well, <laughs> and look, uh, that's all they want for you too. So that is for sure a thing. And look, I'm hearing as soon as I saw your picture and you tell me if this resonates with you, um, um, I'm hearing you're supposed to connect to your guides more. You're supposed awesome. to connect to your guides and angels more. Yeah. Uh, so mm -hmm. every time get... I reach out, sorry. Yeah. No, no, every sorry. It's I... okay. I, we both, I, I, sorry if I interrupt you, but. <laughs> every time I reach out to my angels and ask them something, they always answer. And it's funny. I was just telling my husband this the other day. So yeah, I do need to reach out to them more for sure. Yeah, reach out to them more and believe in it is what they say and trust it. But there's work ahead of you. Like you're either supposed to be doing this work or learning about this type of work. You don't even have to make money at it or do the work. But it is about you kind of stepping into this and owning it. Because I believe that not only are you an empath, as many people are on the call, but that, yeah, I don't know. I just feel like you're supposed to be doing this work, whether even if you just did it for your own benefit it would serve you like you have you're already you're like you're almost there is what i'm hearing you're just i'm hearing like you're just rounding the corner like stay with the girl like you know you're there you're, you're just kind of around the corner it's okay to take a break but um you're hearing them but they say you're maybe you're just distracted or other things are on your mind uh yeah and that can be the case life happens right life happens but they want to be a part of that they want to be a problem solver with you is what they're saying. We want to problem solve with you. Like, tell us your worries. Tell us your problems. It's I okay. I love that. If you're yeah, angry. that was my question earlier. Um, and I wrote a, a name for my um, psychic business. And so Ooh. I am, I have, I think I own 22 tar um, Oracle decks and I, I've taken Oracle school and, and stuff like that, but I don't stay with it. So <laughs> you're absolutely right. It's I okay. think that's where I should be though. Well, it's just something that you could do and it would happen by a uh, delight or a surprise. Like if you build it, they will come. It's that feeling like I keep seeing you like put your name out there or your sign out there, so to speak, hang your shingle and they will come. And who, who may, they may only come one at a time or they may come a hundred at a time, I don't know, but your light is being shown in the spirit world, you know, like um, they've got their eye on you, you know, we've got a spotlight on you, we're just kind of hovering and waiting for you to get started. Yeah, well, I have 18 people that passed over that oh, were close to me. Goodness. Yeah, and uh, my husband's mother passed this morning at 5am. So oh, we I'm just got so home sorry. tonight. Yeah. So, so I don't know if you have a message from her or if she's coming through yet or, um, but yeah, so we've just got home. My birthday was the 23rd and then we left the 24th and today she passed, so. And is there something about the month of February, please, that's important for you or a, um, a date or anniversary, anniversary or a yeah. birthday? Ooh, someone's, I hear echo. So just to finish, I, I feel like she says it's really hot or you guys got really hot or I don't know if you're hot I don't know, but there's a lot of heat around you. I don't know. What does that mean? I'm going to ask you because. Uh... Well, we were hot in the hospital room oh, for the yeah. last two days. Yeah. yeah, it was really stuffy. And I kept saying, open the window. <laughs> she she was in a, a, a nursing home. In there's a lot, of, a lot of coughing going on. I don't know. I want to. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, but this is just what I'm feeling like. Like, God, I got to get out of here. It's hot in here. <laughs> it's like yeah. feeling of, uh, well, it you was know, very hard. you know, she's very decisive. I just want to say, right. So when she knew it was her time, she said, I knew it was my time and I left. And, um, ah. I, I want to say she was done. She was done with this world and, mm -hmm. um, not that she's angry at all. I mean, she no. is very, um, she doesn't, uh, um, uh, she doesn't look to the past or something like I just get on with it. You know, I just get on with it. And is there a Jerry or a Gerald? Or um, Jerome, I don't know. There's another J happening here. 
my mom's Joanne that's okay. passed. Oh, but... your mom has passed. Yeah, yeah. I have 18 over there. <laughs> yeah, well, I know that they're all helping you. I'll just tell you that they are all helping you with your whatever with whatever you do if you go canoeing they you know they are just a there you have a family affair going on over there like uh if we're gonna do. Do something we're gonna do it all together like i could see a canoe for 18 people you know uh you know that's yeah. it's almost like and they all are funny they all tell jokes it's like they one person tells a joke and then they add to the joke and then it just like it's passed around in the community <laughs> of, of your family yeah uh, your mother is all your grand uh, your mother-in-law is all right uh, your husband's mother and she pats and she says thank you for patting my hand and you know like telling me it was okay to go and yes, uh, thank husband. you for, yeah. yeah your husband did that he did yeah and thank you for either giving her the last rites or someone blessed her if this is i did i said a prayer in the hospital room Mm -hmm. um we wanted the priest to come in and um they we couldn't get him to come in in time and uh so i just bowed my head and quietly said a prayer in the chair so thank you you're very welcome i'm so glad that that came through and it's so true about how connected we are with our loved ones and that it's very possible to connect with them with just in a like you said a few hours yeah well, Thank it's you. such a joy to meet you. I feel like, um, you know, that you're blessed in, in a lot of ways, you know. Thank you so much. Thank you. And you are too. I, I really enjoy uh, your readings. I was on another Thomas oh. call and you, you came in. Oh, so thank you. Thank you. Thank you yeah. so much. Well, thank you, Darcy. Um, and thank blessings you. to you and your husband and, you know, just lots of love there. Thank and you. You're welcome. And uh, to everyone, I, I feel like we're going to wrap up here, uh, Kelly, and just want to thank everyone for joining us. And I'm excited for you to come back to another Thomas John event. And thank you to Thomas for allowing me to be a part of this tonight. Thank you so much, Cheryl. Really, really thank you so much. I was, I'm glad we're able to do this event for the time that everybody, you know, purchased a ticket for. And Cheryl, you're amazing. You did great. Um, and so many lovely messages came through that weren't psychic, which was beautiful. And Oh my God. All right. First off, Thomas John is not psychic. He's a hot reader. I've caught him a zillion times at video after video after video, article after article after article, showing he is hot reading people. That's it. Don't argue with me about this because I know. Now, any person, any medium who is endorsing Thomas John is saying they don't know anything about mediumship because there's no way you can associate yourself with Thomas John and be on the up and up. Even if you cold read, which is, I know what Cheryl's doing is cold reading, there's no way that she can be a medium and not know what Thomas John is doing. End of story, right? I, 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 I'm willing to go to a court of law and, and testify and, oh my gosh. So endorsing Thomas John at the end says everything about Cheryl Mur Murphy's abilities, abilities. So let's go. Let's go over this last little reading she did here with Darcy. First off, I have a brother in spirit. Well, where in the heck did that go? Because she just completely forgot about the brother in spirit. Um, I think there's 51 people on the other side, whatever that means for Darcy. It's nice that she's counting them. Um, Deborah, a D name, a Debbie, a... Mm. A whatever name i mean she was ready to go with whatever and then she comes with darcy that's almost deborah or uh debbie okay you need to connect with your guides more believe it 
trust it. Well, you just summed up mediumship right there, Cheryl. If you don't believe in it and you don't trust it, then it isn't real. How does that work? That works just like that. You are an empath. Now, remember that Cheryl was on the first hour of this call. She was able to read comments as people were going back and forth on the Zoom event. So anything that um, was said during that time, she only just has to take some notes on. And if they're having a conversation about her being Darcy being involved in this business, she just has to make a quick note on the side of a piece of paper so that when she gets to Darcy, who she called on, she called on Darcy. She said she threw out a D name. Can't believe I have to explain this. Okay. And uh, knew she was into this kind of stuff. She says she's been, she had a question earlier. I don't know what that was all about. She says, well, I had a question earlier. So I don't want to have to go back and look you guys, but did Darcy do a question somewhere in this video someplace that I missed maybe with Thomas John? She's been to Oracle school. Well, la -di da I mean, what is next? Underground, underwater basket weaving. She has 26 decks of Oracle cards. You know, you can just buy those, right? You don't have to go to a school or something special. You can just order Oracle cards or tarot cards. It's not like having a lot of cards, decks of cards is going to do anything. <laughs> I mean, it's not going to give you any skill, whatever. All right. Well, this woman, Cheryl, was kind of pressing her to get into doing this more. They got her, their eye on you. That ain't creepy. Okay, so Darcy had to tell Cheryl, the medium, that they just got back from the hospital. They just got back from the hospital where at 5 a.m. this morning, her husband's mother died. Darcy told Cheryl. Cheryl didn't mention it. And... Darcy's birthday was just a couple days ago. Now, Cheryl's been into this birthday kick throughout this whole hour, and she missed that Darcy had a birthday a couple days ago. And then she says, is there something important about a month of February? Which is really odd, because I think February is definitely not something a month that you throw out there. Tom, um, John Edward, I have a video of John Edward, and I think the psychic skeptic also has a video on the same thing with uh, John Edward throwing out a lot of birthdays and things like that. And he puts out like, is the month of, and John Edward picks uh, January, March, May, July, December, August months for months that he has. Is there something important happened in there? Is our birthday happen in there? All those months I just mentioned have 31 days in them. The only month that is short, 30 days, is February. So usually a medium who's trying to play the odds is going to avoid a month like February. Every once in a while I see it, so who knows, but they throw out February. Well, maybe because of Valentine's Day, a lot of people get married around val on Valentine's Day so that, you know, it's on Valentine's Day. It's easy to remember. So maybe that's the odds they're playing, hoping they're going to get an anniversary. But the month of February wasn't important for her. So that's interesting, but okay. It's only 28, 29 days. So the odds aren't with her. Now, were you all thinking what I was thinking whenever she said, is there a message for my mother-in-law who passed away a few hours ago? And Cheryl says, it's really hot. Were you thinking what I was thinking? Because my mind went there. And I am a little tired and my mind went right there. And she says, yeah, it was really stuffy in the hospital. That's what Darcy says. And then she says, um, Cheryl says, there's lots of coughing. It's hot in here and I would like to leave. And my mind went right there too. <laughs> where is, where is this um, mother-in-law at that's so hot? that she's coughing and would like to leave. So 
So um, I thought it was interesting why she what is missing. She didn't say the mother-in-law's name. Why didn't she say the mother-in-law's, at least the mother-in-law's first name? She could have just told Darcy, well, your mother-in-law, Elizabeth, she's doing okay. No, she didn't say that. She didn't say any name. She said your mother-in-law. That's it. That's it. That's all she gets. Poor lady. Um, then she goes into Jerry, Jerome, Gerald. Again, a J name. And then she's and then Darcy says, My mom's name is, and I think it was Joan. I wrote Joan, but I'm so busy trying to remember how to spell Ger Gerald because I think that starts with a G and not a J. So I was trying to erase it and not erase it. And, and then I think I missed her mom's name. And I think her mom's name is Joan. Joan or Joanne, something like that. But Jerry, Jerome, and Gerald. Gerald is a G name. I guess Jerome could be a G name and Jerry could be a G name. But anyway, so it could be, who knows? You know, those people on the other side. The people in spirit on the other side, you know, phonetically, the, the spelling, who cares about that kind of stuff? What letter it starts with? It's not important. So her mom is a J name. That's why she said a J name because she's, oh, well, my mom is a J name. And then Cheryl makes another huge mistake and she says, oh, your mom has passed? Well, Darcy is a little young to assume that her mother has passed. A grandmother probably, I mean, her grandparents could even be alive. She's so young. You can't see her. I've blurred her out, but she's not that old. So Darcy's very surprised that, and not Darcy, I'm sorry. Cheryl is surprised that Darcy's mom has passed and she blows it by saying, your mom's passed? Oh, wow. And then this thing, the story, you know, going back to Janice Boynton and her, um, her th with cold readers, Janice Boynton says she thinks that when she watches these people, these cold readers, it's like they've created this fictional story in their head and they're just playing it out. And it's like free association, just la la la. Well, they were in a garden and then they went and did this. And then there was these flowers and they looked down and there was these tulips, but they've never seen a tulip that color. And then they picked it in and all of a sudden these birds came out of the sky. I mean, it's like, it's just like fiction, right? They're just making up these stories. So here is uh, Cheryl and she's going on about, oh, well, it's, there's so many people over there. I see it's like a canoe and they're all in the canoe riding together and they're telling stories and they're telling jokes. They're joking again and everybody's just passing the joke from one person to the other and they're all having a really good time. Really? That's the second second time she's talked about jokes and that they're telling her jokes. Are they really telling you jokes, Cheryl? Because you're just mouth is flapping. I don't see where the time is coming in here unless you've got some super uber other special power besides the fact that you're supposedly communicating with the dead that you can hear a joke and know it's funny and not laugh at it in your brain that quickly. They telling multiple jokes because that just didn't make a lot of sense to me. But then again, this whole thing doesn't make any sense to me. So then here's another mistake. Your mother-in-law is saying, thank you for patting my hand. And Darcy says, oh, my husband did. And Cheryl says, yeah, your husband did. Okay. So that was a mistake again. And then she says, thank you for um, the last rites or whatever it was. And Darcy says, well, we didn't have time to get a priest in there. So I just said a silent prayer. So that's not exactly last rites. Last rites is an actual thing with, you know, the priests say and the certain, it's a, it's a specific thing. Whereas she said a prayer quietly. So Cheryl says somebody gave her last rites and Darcy says, I said a silent prayer. So if you want to equate those as the same thing, I have news for you. They are not the same thing. And then Darcy says, 
you're amazing. You're really great. I love my, you know, watching you give readings and on and on and on. She has low, just like her standard is low. I'm sorry, Darcy, but that was pretty horrible. And she says that she was on a call with, uh, she was on another one of these gallery readings with Thomas John and Cheryl came in and she just likes her or whatever, you know, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Not impressed. I don't know. Are you impressed? Leave it in the comments. So let's sum this up and let's go back to where we had it. Cheryl, Cheryl Murphy, first, first video, she's reading a guy named Guy. No. Her first reading is somebody, oh, I don't have the woman's name written here for some reason. Victoria? No. Somebody else. And she was, oh, the woman was really struggling. She was, she was telling her that you're going to sell real estate because your mom just died. And the woman is saying, and she says to the woman, how are you? After she's just read a statement saying that the woman is really struggling because her mom just died. And then Cheryl says, how are you? <laughs> I thought that was really awful. Oh, she had John and James and Jay names. She said they were coming through. Oh, and there was bunnies, hopping, hopping bunnies. And the, and the sitter said, oh, well, I had some dogs. Angel wings, her mother's. Her, oh, her mother. That's right. This is the one the mother says, I love your hair. It smells, you know, I really love your hair. The mother in spirit is sending a message through Cheryl to her, to her beloved daughter who's grieving and in such grief. She says, I love her hair. The next one was a guy that she, I called him guy. Um, her, his mother died recently. You can tell he's really cut up about it. And um, the message was, you're going to be getting a new phone. And um, maybe you should go to Egypt, but don't pack your bags. You might not need your bags packed. It was just silly. Um, and somebody named Chris, that was a guy who was trying to, wondering about a condo. And Cheryl gave him a bunch of financial advice and that, um, oh my gosh, I can't believe this stuff. And then there was an, then the one today that I uploaded recently was the two women. One was Martha and the other one was Brooke. And that was because somebody named Marilyn and, oh, geez. So the woman asked about her health. Martha wanted to know about her health. And Cheryl's advice was to get a new doctor, new doctor's office get your blood work done and to calm down team spirit is coming through and a birthday just passed um, brooke was the one with the little boy her grandson who was name is cash who died two years ago um and so the mother grandmother brooke was trying to open up a foundation to get a new park bench with a plaque on it for cash to honor her grandson and Cheryl had her starting an organization that was going to have like international and celebrities and all this other stuff. And she needed to write a book and she needed to get way out there. And then there's this one right here now, Darcy, who's um, she didn't notice that her mother-in-law had just died today. Okay. Cold reading. I think from the comments I've seen so far on the channel, you all agree. This woman is cold reading and she's very bad at it. She's completely endorsed by Thomas John. So let me show you this. Well, just, just a few more minutes. Trust me, I do not want to be dealing with this anymore. Let's look at Darcy's Darcy. <laughs> Let's look at her website. Okay, this is the website for Cheryl Murphy. She's a psychic medium, evidential medium and psychic. Oh, that word evidential cracks me up. Their idea of evidential means that somebody has validated it by saying, oh yeah, that's about right. That's their idea of evidence. That's not my idea of evidence. And I don't think it's your idea of evidence, but that's what they say is evidence. Okay, so she's got books. 
She does spring guide readings, relationship readings, grief and loss readings, meditation, energy healing, career readings, pet readings. She's been in a book, The Last Breath, that you can get on Amazon. Oh, she does healing prayer circles and podcasts. It's a nice professional website, don't you think? Healing Prayer Circle, Living Transform with Cheryl Murphy and Kelly Eckhart. Oh my gosh, Carol Eckhart. I mean, tell, Kelly Elkhart. I have, I've reviewed some of her readings. Oh my gosh, there's a whole bunch of videos on here of Kelly Eckhart. She's also trained and endorsed by Thomas John. Just no. Circle of Light Communities, you can join. Um, coaching. Oh, hey, she'll train you. Oh, Lord. Good gracious. Good Lord. You can shop. Oh my gosh, a testimonial from Thomas John, who's on the landline with some, when some spirit. Oh, that makes sense. Let's see what this says. If you guys can't read this, Cheryl, I wanted to let you know that if anyone I have ever mentored psychically, you have gotten the most compliments. C O M P L. Okay. From my clients by far. I have had about 10 people write me specifically to tell me how much they loved their reading with you on that note, loved in all caps. Cheryl Murphy is an extremely accurate psychic and gifted medium. I am impressed by her professional demeanor, her ability to get multiple details and very validations from spirit and her amazing insights about personal issues. She is one of the most professional psychic mediums I have ever met. I highly recommend her. Okay, so as I said at the beginning, if you are endorsed by Thomas John, well, I'm probably going to come looking at your, your work. So just saying, the easiest way to get reviewed by myself and my team to have us investigate you is to be endorsed by Thomas John. And anybody who endorses Thomas John we know you're not really a psychic or, or maybe you're okay with him doing the things he does, the hot readings he's doing contact call or text, get social, share it with a friend. Okay. I'm looking for, maybe there's maybe just something on here that says, Hey, this isn't real, please. I'm not a doctor. I don't actually give financial advice. So just take it with a grain of salt. Maybe something in Really small writing. It says this website uses cookies and third-party services. Okay, that's not a very small print. This one says copyright 2012-2013. Psychic medium, Cheryl Murphy, all rights reserved. Web designed by the Mind Body Spirit Network. Uh, she lives in Palmdale, California. There's more testimonials, privacy policy, contact. Now, let's look and see how much it costs. I wouldn't pay her $10 to give me a reading. Not unless I was going to use it for some really important reason. All right. So you can get readings. Oh, get relationship help and meaningful insights with a love psychic reading for $200. Guardian angel and spirit guide readings for $200. How to deal with love lost. Loved ones who are lost. Experience an evidential mediumship reading for two hundred dollars. Would it, wondering what your pet is feeling? Hire a pet psychic medium, two hundred dollars. Hey, I know what my my pets are thinking. They're thinking, don't waste your time in this. Oh look, eight sixty minute readings, a bonus package for two thousand six hundred dollars. That's at least two two benches you could put in a park somewhere. Somebody actually can sit in and enjoy the view and watch their children play on the playground. Now that we know $1,400 will get you a park bench. Nice looking park bench too. But for $2,600, here's four 60 minute readings for $1,300 or four 30 minute readings for $700. You can get mediumship training, inner circle, Monthly mentorship and intuitive training for $67, $250 for mediumship training, remote intuitive energy healing sessions for $300, uh, 
um, a 30 day meditation journey for $30, $29.99. Buy now. Okay, so it looks like she's got some, some stuff up here. Wow. I wonder if she sells like uh, masks and, um, you know, spirit spray and stuff like that, that Thomas John does. Okay, readings. Um, I wonder if it's got the price for readings broken down. Some of them do emergency readings. Let's see if she does that. 30 minute phone reading for $210. A 60 minute reading is $360. So that's a dollar a minute, I think. <laughs> no, no. 360. I'm thinking of a circle. Boy, I'm I'm loopy. One hour, 30 minutes for 525. A circle. Susan. Susan, come on now. Oh, expedited phone reading within 24 hours of your scheduling appointment for 30 minutes for 310. In other words, if it's an emergency. I am an emergency. I need to talk to you now. Interesting. I wonder if she gets many of those. How about events? Does she do any events? Upcoming events. Hey, stay tuned. Um, October 4th was the last one she did. So she's got nothing scheduled. I guess she's just waiting until Thomas John calls her up and says, Hey, can you be here in a half an hour? I need to, I need to skip out. His excuse for leaving was he had a zoom he had to go to. And he said, let me see where I wrote it down. That thing that came up, that was Thomas John said, I have to go to that thing that came up. Bye. Here's Cheryl. <laughs> We're like, all of us watching are going, what's going on? Who's Cheryl? And why is she here? Okay. So no events other than these events with these Thomas John, um, other Thomas John people like Kelly Eckhart. Yeah. A lot of Kelly in her, her and Kelly. Yeah, check out Kelly. She's she's uh, quite interesting. Uh, I have plenty on my channel for that shop. Um, bonus packages. We already saw this. Remote healing. Remote energy healing. Oh, for $300. If you're stuck, anxious, or stressed. No kidding. Have you looked at the news lately? Helping you clear blocks. Help support you on your path. Help improve your energy flow and balance. Either through email somebody just today told me you can't cold read somebody over over the phone or by email or anything like that and i said absolutely mediums do it all the time so she can do it through email or a 30 minute initial phone consultation my inner intentional energy work involves 24 hours of continual spiritual energy wow Good job if you can get it, man. 24 hours of continual spiritual energy. Ah, my work also supports any current treatment that you're receiving from Western medicine and or, or other alternative therapies. Oh, I can't. I'm sorry, you guys. I can't get that to the highlight right. Other alternative therapies. My work supports any current treatment that you're receiving from Western medicine or other alternative therapies. I am glad to help you with your healing energy journey. Well, anyway, you could check out this website. I am so glad I'm done. So check out the videos. Please leave me all the comments that you can possibly stand. I will answer everything I can. But wow, thank you, Thomas John, for introducing us to Cheryl Murphy. That was quite interesting. And I'm looking forward to you guys' comments. Especially if you watch these, try to watch them in order because you really see a con continuity. And maybe in a day or so, when I have some time to think about it, I'll put together. Well, I, I doubt I'll put together, but at least in my own mind, I will have more like what the heck's going on. Maybe I'll do an article for Skeptical Inquire on this. I'm about to start the conference season. I will be gone doing lectures all over the world in November and December. 
New Zealand, Australia, Las Vegas. I'll be in Las Vegas next week and on and on and on. So hopefully um, we can stay in touch because it's coming down to the wire where I'm not going to be around so much. Thank you guys. Thank you so much for being here with me. Thank you for your comments. Please like, please share. Sorry, these things get really long. I just can't show you the reading and then comment and do it quickly. There's just too much to say. And I don't like cutting up the readings and cropping out and leaving little bits and pieces. I want you to feel the whole reading because even the awful parts where it's just nothing, it's just gibberish coming out of their mouths. That's important to witness too. I want you to feel like you're at the, you're able to, to experience this reading that they're getting and see the quality of the personalized readings they're getting. Thank you guys.